For many holidaymakers around the world, the chance to experience real magic and the awfully big adventure that comes with a trip to one of the famous mouse's houses is exactly what dreams are made of. So join us as we explore the endless possibilities of that great big beautiful world of Disney as we travel to the magic. Hello and welcome to episode two of Travelling to the Magic for the week of Thursday the 10th of June. My name's Tom from Fly Mickey Travel. Great pleasure to be back talking about my favourite topic that is of course Disney and thank you so much to all the wonderful comments and messages that have come in from last week's episode where we took a bit of a whirlwind tour around the great big beautiful world of Disney and to a couple of people who said that I may talk just ever so slightly faster. Do apologise, I will attempt to slow down a little bit in this podcast, but I get very excited talking about my favourite topic of Disney, and especially when it's talking about all the exciting places you can go to and experiences you can have that are out there, supplied and provided by the Walt Disney Company. Uh, well, this week we're talking about something quite unique that most American Disney vacationers have probably heard of but may or may not have gone on. But for sure, us here in Europe and a few other continents around the globe, we definitely don't hear enough about this product. So first off, let me ask you a question. When you think of your next Disney vacation, where are you imagining? Is it a theme park? I'm guessing probably Orlando, top of your list. Maybe Disneyland Paris, if you fancy a bit of the French ooh-la-la. Or maybe you're thinking about a voyage on the high seas on board one of the Disney cruise ships. Of course, stopping off at Disney's private island, Castaway Key, which we'll cover in a future episode. Well, I'm guessing that Australia didn't come on your list of Disney destinations. Maybe not the Galapagos Islands and probably not Egypt either. Well, actually, there is a product from Disney that allows you to travel around the world, exploring and experiencing some amazing sights and sounds, culture and heritage, history and mythology, all courtesy of Adventures by Disney or ABD for short. But what exactly are Adventures by Disney. Well, they are basically group guided family vacations, although solo travelers and couples or basically anybody can go on these vacations as well. But they are small group guided holidays to over 40 different destinations around the world on six different continents that only the Disney brand name can give you premium access to, like an exclusive private after hours visit to the Sistine Chapel at St. Peter's Square in the Vatican, to a privately guided tour of the Tower of London and the home of Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth II, Windsor Castle as well. These unique opportunities that you generally don't get to experience when you're going on a normal guided package tour. But of course, the Disney brand opens that world right up for you. But where did this awfully big adventure idea come from? Well, we know from the Disney archives that Walt himself was quite a frequent and enthusiastic tourist. In fact, I'm fairly sure he was noted at one point as being called a a citizen of the world because he travelled to so many locations, not just for the premieres of his movies or to supervise any kind of film productions, but he simply loved vacationing with his family, with Lillian and his two girls, Diane and Sharon May. And they got to experience quite a bit of the world courtesy of their father's name and the positive reputation that followed the Disney brand. And of course, that reputation still stands very much today, which opens up a whole world of adventures that Disney can take you on. Hence the ABD brand being launched by the Disney Parks Experiences and Products Signature Experience Division, which is, of course, a subsidiary of the wider Walt Disney Company. And this all started in 2005, and back then they only had two US destinations to take their adventure guests on. But just a short decade later, they expanded to six continents, and at that point, over 32 different destinations to go to. And of course, if you bring yourself up to 2021, we now have 40 plus places we can go and experience in a unique way, and of course, in true Disney style. But of course, with the acquisition of 21st Century Fox back in August of 2019, they acquired as well National Geographic's partners, travel and tour operations too. So I can see all of that being transferred into Adventures by Disney, giving us an awful lot more experiences around the globe to go and visit in the coming years. 
So what exactly is included in an adventure by Disney? Well, we talked about the VIP treatment, whether it's a private guided tour of the West Ham Geyser Basin in Wyoming or a dinner party in the Imperial Pavilion at the Vienna Zoo. Or how about this, something even cooler, a seven-day Central Florida tour that includes three days backstage at the Walt Disney World Resort. I mean, what could be more magical than seeing how the Magic Kingdom itself works? Plus, of course, you get a day at the Kennedy Space Center and a night at Disney Springs, plus additional days where you go kayaking, boating and barbecuing as well. That's just one adventure that you can go on. And they're all hosted by two Disney trained adventure guides for every single destination that you go to, not only to make sure that it is a stress and hassle free vacation for you by taking care of all of the little details like your hotels, your transfers, your food, your entrance tickets to the attractions and such like, but they're also there to give you that unique cultural experience of the location that you have gone to. They'll introduce you to local experts who really know the heritage and the history behind those destinations. And if you also happen to have some younger adventurers in your travel party, they lay on special activities for these guys too, plus also some costumed historical character experiences where they can really bring to life the destination through typical Disney storytelling, which of course we know is involved in everything that Disney does, whether it's an attraction at one of the theme parks or just decorating up a cruise ship for Christmas. It's all in the storytelling. But for us adult adventures, the Adventure Guides lay on some special programmes for us too that include some immersive local community activities, which really makes Adventures by Disney truly unique. And therein lies that one word that I think sums up ABD trips, the uniqueness of the itineraries that they offer you to be able to explore the world. Whether you're a solo traveller looking for more sophisticated experiences to a family with junior Junior adventurers looking for tailor-made activities for the kids that are going to keep them entertained and inspired whilst you take in those sophisticated experiences. And thanks to Disney's impeccable attention to details, you're definitely going to discover plenty of special opportunities to create and share unforgettable memories, not only with your family, but of course with your like-minded Disney new friends that you meet along the way. So for land destinations, you could be heading to the Africa or Asia Pacific and visiting Australia, maybe New Zealand, Egypt, China and Vietnam, or heading towards maybe Europe and looking at Paris, England, Germany or Greece. Or you could be heading maybe towards North America for Alaska, Arizona and Utah, or down to South America for Costa Rica, Peru or Ecuador. And those are just some of the 40 plus destinations that are available on land around the world, courtesy of Asia. ABD. But how do you fancy making an adventure on water? Well, in this episode of Travelling to the Magic, we're going to concentrate on water-based adventures. And you're probably thinking he's talking about Disney Cruise Line. And I am in part because the standard Disney Cruise Line itinerary can be expanded to include an Adventures by Disney experience, which is only available to you and your party, as opposed to the standalone excursions that one and all on board your cruise ship can go on. But we'll talk more about those in just a moment or two. First, I want to talk about river cruising through some of the most beautiful and picturesque spots in Europe on board a five-star luxury cruiser, courtesy of Amma Waterways and Adventures by Disney. And in fact, there are three different river cruises that you can choose from. There's the Danube, there's the Rhine, and there's the Seine, which actually has an extra cruise laid on from this year for budding photographers around the world, courtesy of National Geographic. I'll tell you a little bit more about that one in just a moment or two. But let's start with the Danube River Cruise that takes you right to the heart of Europe. In fact, you have eight incredible stops along the way that takes you through four different countries, starting off in Budapest in Hungary. Then you head towards Bratislava in Slovakia. There's a stop at Vienna in Austria, finally ending up in a place I probably am going to pronounce wrongly, uh, but I believe it's called Wilschofen in Germany as your final port of call. But of course, it's not all about the five-star luxury on board your river cruiser. At each one of these destinations, there is some adventure to be had for you and your group. Like, for example, climbing the treetops and walking the rope bridges to get some amazing views of the majestic Austrian Alps. 
taking in some of the world's most breathtaking views as you explore Hungary's capital city. And one final stop that will no doubt have you brushing off your very best Julie Andrews impersonations. Where can we be talking about? Well, of course, Salzburg, where you can explore these city's iconic landscapes, the gardens and the rolling hills made famous in the film The Sound of Music. I can literally picture it now. Well done, an Oscar performance. But if you loved your Danube cruise and you want to go back but experience something a little bit different, there are two variations to the standard itinerary, including a festive shop till you drop adventure where you visit some of Europe's most famous Christmas markets and an Oktoberfest cruise as well, where you can hoist the stain and toast some unforgettable memories with your fellow travelling comrades, all the while getting involved with some very special Oktoberfest-inspired Disney activities during this true Bavarian event. And that leads us nicely onto the second of our three river cruises, where we can discover the true essence of France on a magnificent eight-day, seven-night adventure by Disney River Cruise along the River Seine. And there's so much to take in on this incredible adventure, from the provincial landscapes of Monet's beloved Gavini to the beaches of Normandy, and, of course, a ton of stunning destinations in between. And you'll be engaged in some very exciting, immersive entertainment and exhilarating activities as well, courtesy of those adventure guides. So if you fancy exploring the grandeur of the Chateau de Bizou and other examples of the style and extravagance of French castles and ruins, or maybe simply taking a walk through the beauty spots that inspired Vincent van Gogh and countless other artists, there are in fact two different types of cruises that you can go on on the River Seine. There's the adult exclusive vacation where you can explore the world and create some magical memories with your fellow adventurers all over the age of 18. And there is the standard family vacation as well, which is open to one and all, which has a nice little blend and mix of those sophisticated activities for our adult adventurers, like a French wine tasting tour and those more kid-friendly Disney storytelling activities for our younger adventurers. But of course, there is that brand new cruise down the River Seine, courtesy of National Geographic that Adventures by Disney have just launched. And what better place to hone your photographic skills than in the heartland of France on that magnificent eight day, seven night cruise, where not only can you take in all of those activities that we mentioned before, but you can also engage yourself in some masterclasses with some of the world's best photographers. And that snaps us right into our third and final river cruise that we're looking at in this episode. And of course, the River Rhine, which actually gives us two very unique types of cruises, the standard and a food and drink, which I'll talk about just in a moment or two. But let's start with the standard where you can discover six destinations in four countries on board one of those beautiful five-star luxury AMA Waterways cruise vessels, where you start your adventure at the tip of Switzerland in Basel before heading to Strasbourg in France, cruising up to Cologne in Germany, and finally stopping in the absolutely beautiful Amsterdam up there in the Netherlands. And like with all of these river cruises, there are a number of activities, tours, and immersive experiences to get involved with. And while Shanghai Disney Land Resort may have the one and only enchanted storybook castle. There is, in fact, one other castle full of stories that is just a little bit older than that one, and that's the Heidelberg Castle, where you can take a tour and learn the history about this renowned storybook castle that dates back to 1614. That sounds pretty cool, to be honest. There's also some other activities like a Black Forest Adventure, where you can ride a toboggan through the pastoral landscapes and learn how to make an iconic cook pipe and for those of you amongst us that have a sweet tooth no doubt I won't have to ask you twice but how do you fancy going on a private guided tour of a chocolate museum where you can discover the history and culture of these tasty treats and yes don't worry you get to sample some of the world's most amazing chocolate all courtesy of your entrance and I do feel like if I went on that cruise myself I'd probably come off the boat about two or three stone heavier but what an experience it would be to go and have this exclusive tour, just you and your party, around what I'm now imagining is a bit like Willy Wonka's factory. 
But if taking in these sights and sounds of these picturesque European destinations isn't all you're looking for, but you want to taste and smell them as well, the Rhine River Cruise also has a food and wine alternative to its standard cruising over six destinations in three countries, where you'll visit the world-famous breweries, the award-winning wineries and local pubs, all the while experiencing world-class culinary delights amidst some of Europe's most scenic regions. And so this brings us on to our final water-based ABD experience for this episode and taking a look at how you can add some extra magic to your Disney Cruise Line vacation when you purchase an additional Adventures by Disney extension package. Of course, you get all the benefits like the two adventure guides, the exclusive activities, not just off the ship, but on board the ship as well that's only available to you and not your shipmates as well, plus those VIP experiences and private events too. So which cruises can you add an Adventures by Disney expansion pack to? Well, let's start with the seven-night Alaska cruise on board the Disney Wonder, where not only can you take in all of the excitement and the magic that the Wonder has to offer for you, that includes the rotational dining, the traditional firework show and sail away parties, and of course, going to see a Broadway caliber stage show as well, whilst you're cruising towards your adventure experiences like whale watching, where you can keep an eye out for hum back whales, orcas and dolphins in some of the world's best whale watching hotspots. Have some 24k fun when you grab your pan and try your hand at hitting pay dirt at an old Klondike gold dredge site. Doing a bit of gold panning. Love the idea of becoming rich. You never know. <laughs> Might strike it lucky. Uh, you could also ride the rails and experience the breathtaking views of the narrow gorge railroad that was built during those Klondike gold rushes on the White Pass train ride. And you can dig yourself into an amazing buffet featuring an array of Alaska's renowned crustaceans delicacies in a true crab feast. God, just getting hungry at the uh, idea of that. So let's move on to our second Disney Cruise Line extension with Adventures by Disney. And this one is in the heart of Europe again on board the Disney Magic for a 10-night Northern Europe cruise that takes on board all of those elements from the Alaska one, the tour guides, the exclusive access, and of course those on and off ship activities. And it all starts where you embark at Copenhagen, where you're voyage will take you to some of the most picturesque and iconic locations around Europe, like St. Petersburg in Russia, Tallinn in Estonia, Stockholm there in Sweden, Federicia in Denmark, and ultimately ending your adventures at the iconic White Cliffs of Dover in England. And of course, during all of those ports of call, you have many opportunities to make some magical memory moments, like viewing the magnificent sights of St. Petersburg on a private guided canal boat ride where your local guide will tell you all about the rich history of the city to a guided tour of Stockholm, Sweden's capital city, where you can learn about their rich past and, of course, their vibrant present and future. But there's also one other stop that I want to mention too, and that's the Hans Christian Andersen Museum, where you can visit the childhood home of this legendary author that features some fascinating exhibits about his life and works. Which leads me nicely onto our final water-based adventures by Disney and what they like to call their escape, which is basically an extension to the extension of your Disney Cruise Line itinerary or your AMA Waterways River Cruise itinerary. And they generally are two to five fun-filled days where you can create some lifelong memories on a short burst of adventure, whether it's pre or post your cruise, and gives you time to explore some of those vibrant cities like Amsterdam, Paris and Bucharest. And this brings me back to Hans Christian Andersen and something I didn't know until I started studying adventures by Disney and the places that they can take you to. And one of those places we've mentioned before is Copenhagen, which happens to be the home of the Little Mermaid statue. And it's the city's most popular attraction. And it pays homage to Hans Christian Andersen's remarkable fairy tale that became the inspiration behind Disney's classic animated movie, The Little Mermaid. And of course, you can stop and take some iconic selfies with this statue whilst you're in Copenhagen on one of these 
escapes. I just wanted to mention that because I thought it was quite a unique experience and something that maybe a lot of people weren't familiar with. Well, certainly I wasn't. But that's what I love about Adventures by Disney. They really open up the world to you and gives you that first-hand experience of where the Disney animators took inspiration from for some of the classic Disney movies and, of course, where some of the Disney Imagineers took examples from when dreaming up some of those beloved rides and attractions that we all enjoy at the many Disney theme parks around the planet. And in a future episode of Travelling to the Magic, we will delve into some of those land-based adventures that ABD have on offer that can give us a sneak behind the magical curtain of our favourite parks. But on next week's episode, we're going to be taking a road trip to two of the three Asia Disney parks and looking at how you can plus the magic at Shanghai and Hong Kong Disneyland. So until we embark on an awfully big adventure together again, have yourself an absolute magical day. 